The guidance from Samsung Electronics, I've got to say, seemed to be quite mixed. They're talking about recovery and demand in 2022, but supply chain challenges persisting. How would you characterize the outlook? Yeah, uh, good morning. Uh, I think the company just announced its uh, first quarter earnings result. Uh, the, yeah, although the number is in line with uh, its pre, pre earnings result early this month, uh, but we see some uh, some weak uh, earnings for semiconductor, and also there is a one-time uh, you know cost uh, one-off for the uh, special dividend. Uh, and but uh, we we see that company some conservative stance in the memory uh, shipment for first quarter uh, as price uh, start to decline. Uh, but uh, we we still see some solid demand for the data center. And uh, this year, uh, we see also additional demand from the, you know, metaverse trend. Uh, those are trend driving uh, the solid the demand for the uh, semiconductor side. And also the smartphone business is also one of the, you know, segment uh, we are anticipating some uh, recovery. Uh, but uh, they they recorded uh, the similar level of the, the shipment for smartphone in first quarter. Uh, and and also it, it is assumed that additional you know the increase uh, in Q1 with the new uh, Galaxy S uh, smartphone uh, launches, uh, so the the supply chain issues uh, uh, with the, the potential the lockdown or the you know the, the component supply issue uh, it can be variable. Do you think it could actually work as a positive, perhaps towards the memory chip industry? And for the stock itself, when we're talking about COVID lockdown in one of the Chinese cities, Xi'an, where Samsung actually has a plant, that capacity accounts for about 15% of the global NAND flash uh, output. Mm -hmm. Does that change the sentiment at all? Yeah, actually, uh, the company will discuss the details uh, during the conference call uh, about uh, 20 minutes later. But uh, we assume that the Samsung, they recorded uh, negative shipment growth for both DRAM and NAND, uh, especially NAND flash uh, 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 to, to the lockdown in China, the Xi'an. Uh, you know, there there is some uh, not only the utilization late, uh, but also the you know the lockdown will negatively impact on the uh, the technology migration to the 128 layer from 64 layer. So the, there's a concern about um, the production in Q1. So we we are, I think that the, the company would uh, you know the more conservative in the shipment. So, but actually that will be positive on the, the supply demand dynamic.